Hello there and thanks for joining me. I'm Corel Painter Master Aaron Rutten, and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a quick painted background using Corel Painter. So I'm going to show you a couple different ways to do this. The first method will be using gradients and express paint. So I'm going to go ahead and select my interactive gradient tool. This can be found in Corel Painter 2017 and later. We'll choose a preset up here at the top, and let's choose this orange flames preset. I want to choose a linear preset here, but you could experiment with these other modes as well. And what we'll do is we'll drag from the bottom to the top, and I'm going to hold shift to lock it vertically. And there we have our nice gradient. And these nodes represent the individual colors in the gradient, so if we want more blue and less yellow, we can do that. So let's say we want to have a background with some flames in it. We've established the colors that we want to use, but if we want to change these colors into individual brush strokes and have it look more painterly, we can do that by going to Express Paint up here at the top. Express Paint is going to blend our gradient and make it look like individual brush strokes. And these are the different types of strokes that you can create. Let's turn on Preview Effect and let's select Heavy Dabs. And you can see that it's going to go through and blend and we get a background that looks kind of like fire. Now if we go back to Express Paint, we can control the size and the amount so we can get different results. And you can see if we increase our size and we make it pretty big, we get something that looks a lot like flames. We can increase and decrease the amount as well. If I make the amount higher, it's going to blend it a lot more times. And while it's blending, if you see something that you like, you can just tap to click on the screen and it'll freeze it right at that spot. So I think this looks like kind of a nice flame background. I'll go ahead and click on the check to commit, and there we have a quick background. Let's try another kind of background. Let's go for something that's more like a sky. Let's choose this deep blue sky preset. And again, we'll drag from the bottom to the top holding shift. And it's going to automatically apply the express paint. So what we have to do is go back into express paint. We can choose none if we want. And then we could choose a different kind of preset. Let's try soft dabs and let's lower the amount. And again, you can click to stop it, and there you go, you have this nice painterly background that might work for a sky. Let's try one more preset. Let's try something more colorful. Let's go with this bars of color preset here. We'll go ahead and move our gradient out like this. And let's choose maybe heavy strokes. And we'll just click to stop it, and there you go, you have an instant nice painterly background. Now if you want something that's just a little bit more involved, maybe a bit more detailed, we can also make a quick background using image hose nozzles. First we need to locate our image hose nozzle palette. We'll go to Window, Media Library Panels, Nozzles. This is the image hose nozzle library here. By default there's already some image hose nozzles you can use, and these are essentially stamp brushes that can spit out individual images as if they were a brush. But let's go ahead and load some nozzles here by clicking in the top right and we can import some nozzles. You can get those on my website at aaronrutten.com. I'll put a link in the video description below. The library that we're gonna import is called Abstract. And then if we go ahead and drag this window down here and we scroll down, you can see all of the abstract brushes. For example, CMYK strips looks like this. We need to use an image hose brush in order to be able to paint the nozzle. So that means we need to go to image hose brushes and it wants us to select a linear size P, so we'll select a linear size P. Now if we paint with this brush, then we can control the size of the brush stroke using pressure on our pen. And you could just really quickly go through and paint over the whole thing, and that might be a fine background for you there. Let's try another example, let's try bubbles. And again, this might be a nice way for you to get a really quick background. Now if you want something that looks a little more painterly, what you can do is then select a blender, Let's try a coarse oily blender like this. And then you could simply blend over this and smudge it around. And that would help it look a little more organic. You could try some other blenders. Let's try fractured blender. And there you go, you have a really nice quick background that wasn't too hard to make. Let's try one more example with the image shows nozzles. Let's try jewels. Again, we need to go back to the linear size P image shows brush. A nozzle is what comes out of the image hose brush. And again, we can put down some color like this. And then we just go over it with a blender. Let's go back to that fractured blender. And we can paint over it and blend it, and that helps it look more organic. So as you can see, I made another quick and easy background without a whole lot of effort. 
So there you go. I hope that gives you some great ideas for creating quick painted backgrounds. This video was made possible by one of my patrons who supports my channel at patreon.com slash Aaron Rutten. Thank you, Jana, for the video idea. If you enjoyed this information, take a quick second to click the like button. And if you're new to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. I have a lot more videos for digital artists like you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.